Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put this to the screen. Well, this is actually uh, pretty easy to do. What we need to do is we need to add in this event begin play, and in here we're going to create widget. And what widget is that going to be? It's going to be the info text. Okay, so this is important because you need to promote this to variable. Okay, and you need to get a reference to this uh, to this uh, widget text here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this is uh, info text reference or just ref okay let's compile that here and all we're going to and so if, if we do that here um, what should happen is if we kind of just move this um, on here to like kind of the middle here compile that uh, it should just um, it should just uh, add that in here and so let's see oh and that's why it does not work and we need to add to viewport uh, viewport okay and so there we go and so let's just run that again all right I cancel and I'm just going to compile that here and the target is there we go so let's compile that again push play there we go so you can see that it is working here. Now, this does have to be in the top corner here, and you're going to see why in just a second. Okay. So now that that is, um, is, is there, what we could do um, is we can set, well, we can do a lot of things here. We can set the text here. Uh, now, if we go in and we say this is text description, if I type, you know, if I go text description, doesn't really work. Okay, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to hop into the graph here and we're going to make a couple of functions here. We're going to say that this is the show description and then we're going to add another function that says hide description. Okay, and these are this is going to be exactly uh, what we need to do. So show description is pretty simple. Okay, um, all we need to do is we need to um, get the description text here or the text description and um, and in order to do that you just have to go is variable let's compile that and then if we go into the graph here um, we now have text description here and compile it and you can simply drag that out here so all we're gonna do is we are going to let's uh, do that again here get description we're gonna set visibility Okay, so we're going to do this one step at a time. Okay, so we're going to set visible. Uh, this is actually a high description, so we're going to set it to hidden, and then show description. We're literally going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to um, we're going to show it visibility to visible, just like that. Okay, and let's hop back into our third-person character. So when the cast uh, when thing to look at um, is true, we're going to show, uh, and I think, did we compile that? No, we did not. Okay, so let's compile it, and then and we can say um, thing, uh, oh, that's what we need to do. We need to go to info text, and we need to show description. Okay, plug that into true, and we're going to hide description and we'll plug that into failed here, okay? So pretty easy stuff. One last thing is let's hop into the designer here and uh, we need to set the visibility. Um, and if I type in visible here, it's initially not visible. So what this should do is if I look at this here, you can see up at the top left corner, right? It is working, so if I'm not, looking at it it doesn't show if I am looking at it it does show but that's not what we want to do we want to 
um, uh, we want to put it uh, next to the uh, the actual item itself. And I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial. <laughs>